Hey there, Skyward Shield. Welcome to a new, uh, not smite video, it's a habit now. Welcome to a new KOTOR video. Uh, last time we were, we were going around, in, we, we were going around the Ender Spire, got out of there, landed on Terrace, and now we're thrust in a situation where we must find Bastila. And anyway, we're going to be going around Terrace, exploring some of the sites, and yeah. Something seems to be bothering Karth, maybe we should speak to him and see if you can get him to open up about it. Yes, well, first let's ask this. Do you know anything about this place? Terrace? The planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse the lower you You'll go. understand more well, that's about all I that thing. Anyway. Trust me. I'd like to know more about you, Karth. Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. I've seen more than I should have worse. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these seven animals could unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. Hmm. Sorry, Garth. This must be very painful for you. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed. I... I didn't. I'm sorry, Carl. I didn't mean to upset you. No, I, I know. Don't worry about it. I just... I'm, I must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, all right, we'll learn ask more about Karth. As you get a party, eventually you'll want they'll you can ask them about their backstories or about what's going on, and um, eventually you'll get a side quest for each character, which can really change their affinity towards you in some cases. This is the equipment emporium. We can get some stuff if you want. Whoa! What was that? Uh, should I talk to her now? Ah, sure. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection. Mm, let me see what you're getting yourself. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch Security stuff. spikes. Uh, get some really good stuff like the bonnet and alloy heavy suit and all that. But nothing I really want here. Fibrosaur would be nice, but I'm not going to go for all that. This, this thing, we're going to buy it at some point. Not now. I need the money. I need to keep my money, but just remember that. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get a move on. I'm here on official Sith business. Okay. It's so edgy. They all look edgy. For something you'll see soon enough I, sure again, no. I guess we go in there I just want to explore it's been a while so I'm kind of a little lost I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen who cares it's Duncan and girl on fighting it's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Girl on Two Fingers. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever persistent Dead Eye Duncan. Nobody's great surprise, Dead Eye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Girl on Two Fingers. That was a sight. He did not last long at all. Anyway, so yeah, trust me, we're gonna be, uh, let's see what's in here, first aid. This gives us a med pack, that's fine, and look, a hut, Final, not even three parts, barely three parts in, we already found a hut. Ah, he was saying something else. Uh, my name is Anjur. I organize all the duels here. I might be interested. What's in this for me? Fibro blades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Okay, I'll <laughs> Hmm. Oh, by the way, one thing I want to mention, I, I love that announcer's name. When you heard it earlier, I love his, or not his name, I love his voice. It's so good. I wish he was a voice actor, because he'd be great. Oh, a mysterious stranger. I like it. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the Endor Spire. I'm ready for a duel. Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner I give you Dead Eye Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the terrace dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The mysterious oh, it gets me so hyped. Let's do this shit. He didn't even last. Get out of here. It's over. The fight is over. The mysterious stranger has won. But we are any of us surprised? Did I losing? Is it you? You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger. Well, it was an easy win, but a win nonetheless. I will take that.
get some experience, and get some money. You want to do this side quest because it's not that it's easy, but if you know the right time when to do it all, you can get a lot of extra XP. Get a hundred credits for now. That's all I'm gonna do for now. Oh boy, I can't I get annoyed with that. It's probably a sign I should stop recording soon, so this will be the last part I record for a while. Anyway, let's get to move on. Uh, let's get out of here actually. I, I kind of get lost here from time to time. We'll talk to that guy later. Oh, look at this. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any auto prints to my fans today. Auto prints? What are you talking about? What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendix Starkiller, the most famous blaster slinger on Taurus. Over 100 duels without a loss. Every one of them a death match. Hmm. I hope you don't hang around with the other duelists. Nah, I'm retired now. Once death matches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using stun blasters. There was nobody left to challenge me anyway. I've seen you in the dueling ring, but you haven't impressed me. Now, if you could beat all these other pretenders, all right, then that might now. get my attention. Off with you, then. Side quest. I'm You'll understand more about him soon enough, but he's a Mandalorian, and that's not the last we'll ever see of those. Pretty persistent crew. Anyway, let's get going. Let's explore more. We've seen a little bit of the bar. Also, something to know. I will be making cuts with the footage, especially when we're traveling at great distance. Right now, we're seeing new territory, so it's totally... That's why I'm not cutting anything, but when we're making like, oh, let's say I got, let's say I'm on the other side of the city, it's like I will meet you guys back at the bar. I'll be at the bar or back at the base, for example. Anyway, let's go to the medical facility. see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that Selka Foreign refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Rack Except the rack What's disease, that? Of course. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the Rack Ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into Rack Ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on is the flesh no of others. Is there no cure? There is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. I don't see how that's Maybe going Maybe I could find a way to get my hands on that serum for you. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them if they hadn't already used it because of a Rat Ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith Don't patrols, worry, even in the Undercity. You. Please, don't say that! If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down! I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, I'll be going is there now. anything else I can do for you? Goodbye, and good health to you. If you ever need any medical aid or treatment, you know where to find me. Psst, you there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Rat Ghoul serum. I've got an, an offer? offer for you what are you, you might want to hear. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rat Ghoul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can Davik if you Kang, can get the that? cure. 
Oh, come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. Why does Gavik want the cure so badly? Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. I'll keep your offer in mind. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rakul serum, just take it to Zax in the lower city bounty office. He works for Davik. Okay, so this is basically really our version. This is the first uh, taste of the light dark spectrum. Now, you see, in case it ain't obvious, helping Zelka to just to give anybody who is stuck with the with with the Rakul disease, just to cure them, just be good. That's a light side point. Those are light side points. But giving it to Davik Kang, who's going to use it for only profit and only the rich who can afford it, that's dark. So as you might see here, I'm neutral on the spectrum. Purple is complete neutrality. But if you get light side points, you go to the light, and red goes to the dark. It won't mean much except for the very end of the game, where wherever you stand, you make your choice. But anyway, let's get going. Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but we can just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. Leave <laughs> this man alone or you'll have to deal with me. Oh, get out of here, you idiot. <laughs> Karth, you... shoot this guy. And that should do it. Light slide points. Wow, he got wrecked. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My life warned me not to take a loan from Davik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters Maybe after me until I'm dead. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can credits. pay off Take Davik, them. there's nothing else you can do. You're giving me 100 credits? Just like that? I... I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. You're giving him 100 credits? Generous. Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better no take problem. these credits to him right away. It's easy. Plus, I think you make it up right here. Yeah, 50 credits. 77, so you get, you, you still got a profit. Also, you have to have 100 right there. If you don't have 100, he's just going to be like, I don't know what to do. So he's good. We, we, we did a good thing right there. Anyway, I'm kind of forgetting what to do next. Oh god. Let's let's see this when we go. What is this planet coming to, huh? Yep. Slummy's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lars says you belong, Slummy? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way hmm. if you know what's going on. Oh yeah, one thing I was going to say earlier, you know those bounty hunters are killed, so what do we do with them? Do we just throw their bodies off the city <laughs> into the lower city? Hey guys, we can all be friends here. Let me buy you a drink. A drink? Hey, hey, hey! For a slummy, you ain't so bad. 
Come on, boys. This schlub is buying the next round. <laughs> no way. Forget it. No more drinks. We're late enough as it is. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe next time, Slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas. Yeah, more light side points. Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Oh, Heed that voice, you might recognize it. it. Is too late. That voice, the if you, if you watch the Star Wars, the Clone Wars show, the, the one directed by Dave Filoni, not, not uh, Danny Tartakowski. Um, the one from Dave Filoni is, uh, that's the narrator. He also plays a couple other characters. Anyway, let's, this is where you can go to the lower cities, but... This elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. Move along then. We're gonna need some kind of disguise if we want to get past this guy. All right. So that's what we gotta do. What do we do? We're gonna go to the bar. But I think this is where I'm gonna want to end it because I think it's a good enough spot to do so. But, um, actually, no, I have something we can do before we go. It's kind of a shorter part, I think, if we go, like, off of that. I want to at least check out the... I want to at least check out this apartment set here. Because I think there's just, like, there's this one spot where, like, some kid talks to me or whatever. We'll find... I mean, make sure, because I know there's something here. It's not too important, but I like to do some side quests. I guess. Oh wait, I think this room has more importance later. Oh, what's this? Foot Locker. Free stuff. I wonder if any of those Republic space pods survived crash landing in the Undercity. Just move along. There's nothing to see here. Where did you hide those Sith uniforms? Did you sell them? Parisian underground. Start talking. I want answers. Oh, looks like we're gonna do the other way. You're a little too curious for your I know all about Sith. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. To clean the blood I don't want to get involved in this. The last interrogation. Smart move. This is your last chance. Where did you hide those uniforms you stole? Get in here. Am I gonna get dark side points? Let's see if I am. Oh, I'm not. I chose not to get involved for now. But there's gonna there's a reason why I'm not getting involved. Okay, so yeah, that is a bit of a different case. Nothing but bullies. <laughs> uh, you'll understand. I mean, I want, I would love the combat, but I want to do the other quest because that's more fun. So yeah, I think we'll end it here. Um, yeah, next time we're gonna find a way to get into the Undercity. So yeah, I'll see you guys then.